Hey brothers and sisters, this is Francis, just uh, coming back to you again. What do you think, open or closed? What do we do, open or closed? I should have thought about that before I turned the video camera on. Let's shoot for open. Uh, I forgot my glasses today, so I'm going to try and read out of the Bible, but if I'm squinting real heavy, that's why everything's a little blurry. Bless God in the name of Jesus. Father, help my vision come into focus when I read today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, uh, I got a video out yesterday. Um, I think I might have had some gremlins in my uh, in my camera. That was really weird. Um, I told you I've been having troubles with my phone the last couple of weeks, actually. Uh, I had something messed up with my... Um, with my email account so when people would comment it normally would go to my gmail account and then I could click on them and, and it would pull it up and I could read them and that stopped happening well yesterday it just came back again <laughs> they just started coming in so one day they just stop mysteriously uh, a week later they just start up mysteriously so I'm getting your comments again so go ahead and comment um, number two yesterday <laughs> I made three videos and uh, the time of the of the vocals and the video were off, so that I told you I looked like a a, a Godzilla movie. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting out of here. It was hilarious. I would and I and I spent you know 30 minutes doing this video, and I went to review it. And it's like, what is this? Oh no, I can't post this. And then I tried to edit it. No. I really need some editing skills. I've got to work on that. I gotta find time and get a software program and learn how to edit. Uh, I'm in Houston here. We had tornadoes yesterday. Not real close to me, but there were thunderstorms. Um, my first video post, there was lightning going on all over us, all around us, like right near me. And the, uh, the, it was affecting the camera. I noticed the camera glitching and stuff like that. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it wasn't gremlins. Maybe it was just a natural phenomena of lightning but that doesn't explain the second time it happened when the when the sun was out so nope that, that must have been gremlins I had gremlins in my phone the gremlins are gone in the name of Jesus they can't stay in my phone in the name of Jesus <laughs> you know, it's funny that um, you know there's only two things in this world it either comes from God or it comes from Satan this is not Star Trek and there's not some neutral zone okay it, there's only two things in this world and what you have to do is you have to get in tune with what is from your father you know like that old that 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 not oh, well it is old actually now it's you know what would Jesus do you got to look at things from the pers perspective of is this from my father and if it's not it's got to be from the devil and, and, you know, and I, I have uh, a lot of teaching about, about recognizing the enemy and stepping out against the enemy and taking authority over the enemy. But not everything is from the devil. Not everything. If I'm walking down the street, I fall down and, and trip and fall and I break my arm, that's not from the devil. That's a physical ailment. So there's some things that are spiritual, there are some things that are physical, and you got to be able to discern between the two. All right? There, there's, there's just... It requires some discernment. And if you don't know, ask. Because any man lack wisdom, let him ask, and it shall be given to him liberally. Uh, I wanted to say, wow, lots of great testimonies. The only reason I'm doing this is because you guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got put it on my heart to teach so that people would be raised up as, as, um, as children of God, understanding who they were in Christ, so they could go out and do the same things. I want to hear testimonies. I want to hear testimonies that you guys are going out and laying hands on people, leading people to salvation, uh, uh, healing miracles. I, I want deliveries. I want, I want to hear it. Those are the things, those are the comments I want to hear. I want to hear those comments. Go, go, people. Go, go, go. You know, um, uh, I gave that story uh, that testimony yesterday of the guy that I prayed for at the church whose hand was short and um, it, it, his whole left side of his body got healed and the one finger that didn't grow you know all the fingers grew but that one finger stayed short you know it was short and Beth Beth you're awesome ah man I I watched your I read all the stuff that you wrote to Patrick and Beth you're awesome and Beth pointed out she said she said it's likely that God didn't allow that to grow all the way as a reminder to him. 
because we forget our miracles. We forget our testimonies. And when she said that, it just clicked in my spirit like bazinga. <laughs> that was it. That that was that's correct. That I means that just sounds like God. And uh, awesome job, Beth. Awesome. I mean, great insight. Loved it. And all the counsel that you were given, Patrick, dead on. And I want to say to you, Patrick, Patrick, stop it. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm reading the stuff that you're writing. You got it. You got it. You understand. The light bulb has come on. The issue is not the sin. The issue is your words. Jesus said, whatever you speak with your mouth and believe in your heart, these things will come to pass. So if you keep saying, I'm a loser, I'm going to go back to my vomit, I know me, I'm going to go back, if something happens, I'll fall and return. Guess what's going to happen, Patrick? You're going to fall and return. But if you change your words and start speaking about yourself, the Bible says, speak of these things that be not as though they be. In other words, don't talk about them the way they are, but talk about them the way your father wants it to be, the way your father says it's going to be, the, what he says about you. What does he say about you? We well, are more than a conqueror. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You're blessed, not cursed, the head, not the tail, above only and never beneath. So Patrick, stop using those negative words about yourself. Regardless of whether or not you sin or not, or do go back or backslide, Irregardless of that, stop saying it. And every time you do it, I want you to plead the blood of Jesus over whatever that thing is and, and, and call forth the grace of Jesus. You know, it, his grace is sufficient. And just ask him, say, Jesus, let your all-sufficient grace cover me in this manner. Now, the, listen, y'all. The Bible refers to us, and Patrick, listen to me carefully, refers to us as gold. We're like gold, okay? We're being refined like gold. So when gold is first mined, it's got lots of other stuff in it. Well, what do they do? They melt it down, they heat it up, and the dross, the dirt and stuff, comes to the surface. And then they scrape off all the garbage and let it cool down. Well, every time it's being heated up, that's like us going through a trial, Patrick. And when you went through that trial and you went back into the world, your father was just dealing with that dross. And then you came back to the gospel and then he brings up something else. That gold gets heated again and other impurities come to the top and he gets rid of that. And you went back into the world. Okay, Patrick, you went back into the world. Great, fine. But that was just another thing he was dealing with. And then you came back. All right. And then he heated you up. See, all these things are intended to get rid of the garbage. You're looking at it wrong. You're just looking at it wrong. Everybody falls, Patrick. Everybody backslides. It's not the fact that you did that you did the backsliding. It's what you get out of it. Did you learn from it? And watch your confession because you're going to be just fine. I promise you. I promise you, Patrick, you're going to be just fine. And I promise you, if you listen to me, if you do what I'm telling you to do here, don't worry about the sins. You know, Jesus didn't pay for our sins. He paid for our sin. Past, present, future. The nature of sin. He destroyed the nature of sin. All right, there's a huge difference between the two. You are the righteousness of your Father in Yeshua HaMashiach. If Jesus is your Lord, when God looks at you, he doesn't see the sin in you. See that? There's that... that carnival thing again. He sees Jesus in you, and by that you're made righteous. All right? So stop talking about yourself in a negative way. Stop it. Just stop it now. So, I want you to understand something, Patrick. The problem that you have, and everybody listen to me carefully, is an identity crisis. Satan has so deceived us to what our identity is. And it kind of goes like this. Imagine there were two kingdoms. One was a great king, a loving king, a kind king, and the other was evil to the core. And the evil king hated the great king, but the great king was so powerful, the evil king could do nothing to him. And out of his hate for the king, he decided to attack one of his villages and steal all of his children. So. I'm going to put you on pause here because my son is calling. And I haven't talked to my son in a while. Give me just a second. And hopefully I can remember my spot.